PIH supporters, uh, again, they ought to be you know, taking credit or at least hearing us say thank you for having been with us through this difficult year. All across the country and in some places outside the country, there have been some very pragmatic forms of solidarity that include support, financial support, but involve a lot more. And all over the country, we've had these wonderful communities of concern. I think one of the things that isn't clear to people who support this work, the work of Partners in Health, is how much their engagement has affected us. We're headed to Haiti tomorrow, and uh, you know, I know what I'm going to see. I'm going to see a lot of people, most of them Haitian, uh, who are working really like crazy to make people well, to protect their health, to, to you know, save people with cholera, that they might enjoy, enjoy a decent holiday. And even though so many of us have been engaged in responding to you know, the greatest humanitarian catastrophe of our times, that doesn't mean that any of the other projects uh, that we partner has been neglected. So whether you look at drug resistant TB in Peru or at maternal mortality in Lesotho, or at prison-seeded epidemics of drug-resistant tuberculosis in Russian prisons, you know, the long list that, that um, is faced by people facing both poverty and disease. They're the ones who have to face, you know, these burdens. We should always be ready to, to um, you know, do our best to accompany them in a meaningful way. That's not just writing a check. That's writing a check and then going further and say, you know what, I'm engaged now. I will stay engaged. I'm not going to turn away even though it's not going to be fun or, or quick. It's, you know, decades-long engagement. And I think we've seen some of the fruits of it in Haiti. We've seen the, some of the limitations, of course, too. We've seen some of the fruits of it after 25 years. You, you say, well, what does that look like? Well, it looks like a big teaching hospital in the middle of central Haiti, you know, outside of Port-au-Prince. So now, um, you know, at the holidays, as the anniversary is upon us, I think we're going to be able to say, hey, you know, you, you look at this place and, and point to it and see, this is what Building Back Better looks like. Not out of, you know, again, not with undue pride, I think with a lot of humility, we should have done this long ago. But this is a, um, an example, I think, of, of where, where we, we've come over the years and, and also where we're going.